what's up you guys this is Rob from Gay Guy Plays and today on the daily grind with a little bit over three days left on the pacifism defect operation I figured I would go ahead and share with you the strategies that work for me now a lot of them were submitted by the community and I tried and played around with a couple different setups However, I found two to really, really shine. Now, I'm going to give you guys a couple disclaimers here. Now, first and foremost, as you can see, sadly, I was only able to um, get up to 1.1k um, for my personal best. I will be pushing for a little bit more than that um, if, if I get some time. Um, and that's mainly because I've been playing with nothing but people I've never played with before. Like, some, some people I pulled off of stream, some people were just people that I grabbed from my clan. Um, that I'd never played with like in extended duration runs, so you, you have to forgive me for that But I will work on it. I'm determined. I am determined because uh, my normal rating group Unfortunately uh, went ahead and did it without me. That's right. You know who you are. I talked to you earlier today Yes, I'm still bitter and I'm putting you in my angry book. I'm very much putting you in my angry book um, But yeah, so unfortunately my normal my normal crew that does all of the extended stuff and does a lot of like the end game stuff um, was uh, just not around. <laughs> they were busy. They were busy um, having real lives instead of doing this the whole time. So the two. Oh, and then the other disclaimer that I need to set in because this is going to be a little bit of shocking. Um, I actually because of the because of the nature of these runs, I'm not going to record a whole hour run. I'm just going to kind of like record like the middle and ending bits of it. Um, so you'll you'll see a lot of this layout with a different face, with a different, with me unshaven in different outfits, um, and also looking a lot shittier than this, a lot more tired than this, um, and the mouth will not be saying the same things that I am saying right now. <laughs> I'm gonna use the audio for this and the video from that. It's gonna be weird, but I want to share with you guys what works. Um, so the two main strategies that we used was Vauban Trinity or Limbo Trinity. And those ones seem to work the best out of all of them. They're all very, very simple premises. Basically, with Vauban Trinity, you just use Bastille to just, you know, create what what I like to call, what I like to call a train conductor Vauban. Listen, the train is coming through. You need to obey the train sign warnings. And basically, you just lay a railway for your team to make way with all of your um, your rescues. What are they called? They're hostages? I don't know what they're called. The people that you need to lead out. The refugees, there you go. Um, and you just basically use a uh, train conductor Vauban to clear a path and uh, Trinity to keep him EV'd and you um, use her blessing to keep the, uh, the refugees up. So that's the basic premise of that one. On the other end of the spectrum, we have the Limbo and Trinity mix, which basically Limbo banishes everybody, which you know is a big is a big change from usual. They're like, don't banish me. You get a rift, and you get a rift, and you get a rift, and you get a rift. Everybody gets a rift. That kind of poses its own challenges, but you basically banish everybody, and you just run. And Trinity basically just blesses everybody and keeps them all alive, and you run them to uh, the the exits. Um, now, clearly, each of these two sets do pose their own challenges, and it is each one of them is a little bit unique. So maybe you can kind of tailor them to the different kinds of players that you have on your team. So let's start off with what I feel is the more mechanically easy of the two. I guess I would say. Um, is gonna be the Vobot and Trinity. That was literally probably one of the easiest versions of this to run. It, it It's a little bit riskier than the um, Limbo Trinity one. However, it's a lot easier. So if you are not necessarily technically the strongest, this might be um, your way to go. Uh, however, in this one, I will say that, you know, Vauban doesn't necessarily need to be the most skilled, but he just needs to be able to have enough energy to spam those Bastilles and also be able to, um, also be able to kind of like, how do I say this? Have some forethought in the path, in, in the pathing of, uh, the enemies. Now, there are a couple tips that I like to kind of put out for this pairing is number one, Vauban basically blaze a trail, um, just keep an eye out on the way that your hostages pass, pass, path 
through the mission um, because one of the big things about these missions too is where what what hallways and what tile sets that you get um, if you get like really what I call death corridors where basically you get a bunch of like really 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 tight corridors that um, all of the like Eximus and all of the really really high level um, infested kind of cluster up one of the tips for those is and that's actually not super terrible for Bo Vauban so one of the tips for that is basically you use vortex almost to kind of like reposition all of them because you don't necessarily always especially when you have your hostages running you don't necessarily want to um, engage the enemies because you engage the enemies and then your hostages run right past you and then they run past all of your bastilles and now they're out in the open ready to be attacked um, at any of the points. So that's one of the big things you can you can kind of use is you can use your vortex to basically cluster up the enemies into a corner giving you, your trinity, and the hostages a clear path through the area and then you know if you if you need to you can go back and clear them afterwards just make sure like i usually like to pick off eximus uh the parasitic eximus on the way out um trinity can usually handle everything like that but i feel like in my brain that's one of the nice things to um remember also if you're a vobon and you're resing someone and i have to put this out into the universe because this was my mistake which pretty much ended our run which uh if you're if you're resing someone Make sure you like throw down a shit ton of Bastilles at the same time. One Bastille, you think it's good? It's not, maybe not necessarily. Maybe one, you know, maybe you're fighting level uh, 250 enemies and you got uh, one of those uh, drones that spit toxin at you and they kill you as you're trying to res your trinity. Don't, nothing, 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 nothing. Please, nothing. Don't hit me. Oh no! no. That is so close! It was so close! It's been an honor serving with oh, you. Oh no, we got it. 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 We're doing it. No, 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 no. Yeah, throw down a bunch of Bastilles if you're trying to raise your Trinity, especially in some of the rougher incidents. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, on the Trinity end of the spectrum, I can't really speak too strongly about this because I wasn't necessarily the Trinity in the group. Um, however, we did have one insane Trinity. It was they were not running with me, but they they were good. They were really fucking good, and they were so good that we knew that they were good not even being in the same area with them. Um, one of the things that our Trinity, our other Trinity was actually running that I thought at first was like, this isn't really something that I'm like, okay, sure, whatever. Um, but she had mentioned that she was running, um, or he, I don't know, she or he, I'm not going to assume genders, um, was actually using the Vazarin, um, was using the Vazarin focus. I personally, as the Vauban, was like, well, I'm going to use a Xenerix so that I can have all of the energies in the world so I can throw a whole bunch of balls everywhere. Um, but the Trinity, you know, the Trinity that we came with, she was like, oh, well, I'm using Vazarin. I think it's a really good idea to use Vazarin. Um, so what ended up happening is the reason that they liked using Vazarin so much was because of the fact that you get the instant revives. And I'll be honest, because that Trinity was working with the other, with the other Vauban, we probably could have gone on a little bit longer if my trinity was using vazarin um for instant revives or if i was even possibly using vazarin for instant revives i still feel like xeneric is a little bit better um for vauban just because you're going to be spamming your balls all over the place but i definitely feel like that helped um i definitely feel like that helped the trinity a whole lot uh, so that's kind of that's kind of my my feelings on that situation. Um, the one good, cool thing about this version of Trinity, though, is that this this Trinity in this pairing I feel needs to be a little bit mechanically stronger than in the Limbo Trinity build, and we'll get into that in a second because Trinity really needs to keep an eye on both your health, both her health, and and um, the enemy, not the enemy's health, but the hostage's health, and also needs to EV at the same time. So make sure if you're running the Vauban, like, composition, that you have really good strong trinities, because a, a strong trinity will save your ass every fucking time. Um, that's why I was so in awe of uh, our one of the trinities on our team. Not that the trinity with me was bad. I mean, but we were talking about pizza, we are talking about Tenokan, you know, we were, we were, we were, Taking it seriously, but we were also taking it seriously, you know? It was one of those things, and I wish a little bit more focus, we would have been okay. However, 
The next uh, matchup that I kind of want to put out there is the Limbo Trinity composition. Now I was running Limbo on this one and it was basically a duration Limbo. Um, not using Haven, I didn't really feel that Haven was at all necessary, but we pumped in a lot of duration into that and a little bit of range so that you could tag people. But basically, all Limbo would do in this is just tag each enemy as they came, and the duration on Banish would be long enough, usually to get them to the next point or very, very close to the next point. So what I actually did as a Limbo in that situation is I kind of got the feeling for when... Um, when uh, Banish would need to be refreshed. So I would just banish them, banish them, banish them. I would, and banish my Trinity at the same time. So we would all be banished, and I would kind of run to a specific point. I would wait for them to round a specific corner, then I'd be like, you get a banish, and you, well, I would have to unbanish, then rebanish them, unbanish and rebanish them, unbanish and rebanish each one of them. But because of the fact that I was using the map to kind of, you know, help them form a line and kind of help them sp split them up just a little bit, so that I could cast them without things getting in the way of each other. Um, it actually worked out really, really, really well. Uh, the only thing else that I would recommend at the same time is if you are a Limbo in this composition, is that you pay attention to the fact that your Trinity will have their Banish timer on them. And one of the things that I did, because uh, the Trinity was a little bit... Uh, how do I say this? They were dressed nicely, However, they were dressed to the point where sometimes I couldn't see them. Um, so either have your Trinities dress very, very boldly, <laughs> a lot of hot pinks, or one of the things that I also suggested is if a Trinity needs a banish, um, toss down a couple, toss down a couple blessings because the beacon will show up and you'll be able to say, "Oh, you're over there. Okay, cool." Boom, banish you, and re either banish you or rebanish you. And I always had my Trinity get up on um, some form of like a box, like um, I'm on the box. Gotcha. Get on a box so that you're not in line of sight of other enemies that I might accidentally banish. So that's one of the things that we really kind of got into the rhythm of doing is he would find a specific box and he would always stand at that box. Um, whenever we would hit that part of the map so I could banish him and rebanish him and it was very good So keep in mind that this limbo Trinity composition this one does require a lot of uh, Technical skill from the limbos the limbos are going to be doing a lot of the heavy lifting as with Trinity All they really need to do is just have blessing up and keep um, Keep the hostages alive or the refugees alive um, and that's pretty much their only their only need in this case. Uh, Limbo doesn't really need EV, mainly because of the fact that he, the Rift pretty much keeps him filled up with energy. And if he's using uh, Zeneric as well, if he's using Zeneric as well, um, that tends to keep him topped off. You don't really need Zeneric. I would almost suggest using Vazarin on your Limbos as well so you can get that instant revive just in case your Trinity goes down. Because if your Trinity goes down and, I don't know, your allies are out for some reason out of Banish or something, like let's say uh, you've got a Manic that jumps on them and whatnot, um, then definitely you want to make sure you have that Vazarin stuff to kind of keep them alive. Um, so... I think that's pretty much it for those two compositions. Those ones are really the ones that work. I really want to go ahead and try them out with a team that I'm a little bit more, that I have a little bit more familiarity with, or um, I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, you guys let me know what's been working out for you. One of the things that I'm very, very, very curious about is if anybody is running Narrowmon um, in their builds it, as, as their focus, to kind of maybe use that for clearing, because as we know, um, stealth multipliers on certain things like gas for a, for for a while longer, at least. Or if you're using um, using it on slash or whatnot, it does really, really, really well against the infested. So if anybody is using Narrowmon to clear, let me know. Like, are you using Narrowmon Atarax? How did that work out for you? Um, but specifically, these two are the ones that worked out the best for me. I just uh, needed a little bit more time with those groups. However, I'll be honest with you, I'm like, I'm like, I'm determined to get better and better, better, better scores. I like this. This score is trash score to me. I need a better score than this. I want to get up there. However, you know, when you're working with people that you're not necessarily super familiar with, um, you know, it can be a little bit of a challenge, especially managing personality types and whatnot. So, so that's pretty much. 
that's pretty much it for this episode of uh, The Daily Grind. All right, so semi-future Rob here, and I just kind of wanted to drop in a couple of the builds that I was actually using on both Vauban and Limbo. One of the things that you'll notice is I'm using Vitality and Prime Vigor, and that's mainly because the number one killer um, for, for, for a lot of the missions tended to be toxin damage, whether it was a gas cloud or whether it was a, uh, one of those toxic ancients breathing on you. So really, it's gonna bypass all of your shields anyway, so you might want to just invest in Vitality and Prime Vigor so that you have a little bit of a bigger health pool. Um, for Vauban, as you can see, I went with Duration um, and a little bit of range to kind of counteract it. Some people go in full range and they don't even worry about power strength or anything like that. Um, I don't know, this is kind of what ended up working for me. There might be a little bit of a better variation on that. Maybe you don't need narrow-minded, maybe you just need a prime continuity on your setup, but this is what I liked for mine. And then as for my Limbo, let's go ahead and take a look at that one right there. Um, and as you can see, I actually went with um, just high efficiency and high duration. I really, really went in on the duration. Um, again, with the Prime Vigor and the Vitality. I actually did Speed Drift and Natural Talent because I wanted to be able to banish really, really quickly. Um, also, not really worried um, about Haven. I, I tried Haven out. I didn't really feel like it did anything too crazy. But yeah, so those are the two builds that I used. Hopefully that kind of helps you out or gives you something to work with to kind of play off of and you know, you can manipulate it and change it as you wish. Um, but that's pretty much it. So back to past Rob. Oop, hopefully that helped you guys out. Hopefully some of the, um, the footage that you saw that was really, really weird of me um, using the, the, what do you call this? The Vobons and the Limbos and, you know, not having the same picture up is okay. Uh, I just kind of wanted to slip this in under the gun just in case any of you guys were kind of having your own issues or did not know how didn't really get how the pairings worked out, but those two were the ones that were the most successful for me. Um, but yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. So you guys take care, have fun during uh, the, de the the rest of this operation. I wish your clans well, uh, but not as well as my clan, of course, because we're doing quite well. <laughs> we're doing well, we're not doing the greatest. We're number seven, we're number seven, and we're holding tight to number seven. Um, but yeah. That pretty much does it for this episode, so as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. I will uh, talk to you guys next time. Bye bye